is that Holochain has this proxy server ability built into it. So at, on Holochain, at the hosting side, I know the question was on the hosting side, but I'm trying to make this a little bit clear if I can. I hope I'm not confusing you more, but um, Holochain has this built in. So Holochain nodes that are on the public net can act as proxy servers for other Holochain nodes. Or you can just spin up a proxy server. You can spin up many of them, just like you can spin up root setup servers. And so as long as when you are configuring your Holochain node, you say, I want this node, this address out here to be my proxy server, it will show up on the public internet. And so there can be hundreds, thousands of proxy servers for each node. The actual solution that we will use inside of Holo, I'm not clear about yet. We haven't come up with the best way to do that and we're working that through. Um, but there's, the, the, the essential solution will always be about creating a pool of proxy servers that nodes can go through. And there's some very fun things that we can do that I think are, are the right ones organizationally to do, which is to balance which kind of provider is doing that service. And so people have asked questions about, well, how are you going to prevent um, the big guys from taking over the space? Well, one of the answers is that we can make a requirement that the big guys must provide proxy services for free for the little guys. And, um, and so we will pre um, have both agreements technologically at the, I mean, organizationally at the whole level to do that and technology to manage that and make it super easy to say, okay, you're gonna spin up N proxy nodes for the smaller guys when you get to this particular size that you're hosting your stuff on. And so it's fun, it's really, it's nice because we get to balance this both from our standpoint of the kind of relationships that we wanna engender in the world and from the technological side.